we've certainly disinflated an awful lot. Um, the problem is there's a big difference between whether inflation is going to settle down at 3.1% and 2.4%. And none of our models are very good at telling us the difference between those two possibilities right now. I'm cautiously optimistic that January and February were blips, that we're going to be in a range that the mm -hmm. Fed is going to be okay with. But, you know, I'm, I'm nervous. To, to go to your public service on fiscal affairs and the way you fold in policy like Betsy Stevenson and some others, do you, do you sit in Act 10 lecturing on the interest buildup we now see the government paying? the interest paid by America's 1.X trillion, whatever. Is Jason Furman concerned about fiscal overwhelming our other economics? Yeah, I taught debt sustainability last week. And here's the tricky thing. There is no doubt that the United States is on an unsustainable course. I think Bloomberg just did an analysis, and I think it's something like 88% of the scenarios, um, the debt is unsustainable. That seems very plausible to me. Here's the tricky thing. We don't know how urgent this problem is. We don't know how big this problem is. We don't know how much time we have. Um, now, all that uncertainty is an argument for taking out some insurance. We'd rather not find out what a crisis is like. But, um, you know, I tend to be on the, if we deal with this a couple of years from now, we'll probably be fine. Uh, but maybe we need to do better for the United States economy than, than probably. So what does this Federal Reserve do just in the near term here, uh, Jason? I mean, we started the year thinking that the, the Fed would cut perhaps six times this year. Now the market's kind of discounting maybe less than, than, than three times. What do you think the Fed should do and what do you think they will do? One thing is, by the way, I was worried that the market was out over its skis, overly enthusiastic, and it's adjusted to a very different outlook without a whole lot of turbulence. Um, and that's been, I think, a good reassuring sign. Um, in terms of what the Fed should do, I mean, it's sort of a standard phrase, but they need to be data dependent. Um, if we get two prints that make us realize that January and February really work works, I think they could go ahead and cut in June. Um, the other thing, though, I'd like to see them do is make the cut a less momentous event. Rather than, you know, this is a huge ship and it's now going in a different direction, it's going to stay in that different direction, say, here's what we're doing today, but we're going to continue to collect you know, data. This is not a promise of a, that we're on a path of cut at the next meeting, at every meeting, even at every other meeting. Um, they have to make that first move just be less important than, you know, everyone yep. is trying to import meaning into it right now. 